Tricycle <laughs> going down there, Dad. See what happens when you take the trail? They're still climbing up there. You get to enjoy the view for longer. Look who it is. <laughs> Hey YouTubers, we're here at the Colorado National Monument. If you're thinking about skipping this one uh, because maybe you think you need more time, I mean it was a killer drive from where we were yesterday uh, to Grand where Teton. The, the Grand Tetons to uh, here. But we drove into the night, got there, set up camp, uh, beautiful little uh, resort there that we had, the little campground RV park. And, uh, but as you can see, this is an absolutely phenomenal view of, uh, on this window rock trail that we took. It's a very brief trail. If you want to hike, anybody can do this. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're old like me, you can get down here. No problem at all. Beautiful pictures here. The girls had some really neat pictures, a little bit precarious, but they wanted to have some fun, so we let them. And uh, we're looking forward to heading off to Arches National Park next. And it's just about, a, it'll be a short drive, so just a little bit over an hour. You get to see both of these in a day. Do a couple of hikes here, you can go over there, and especially if it's later in the year. One thing about this time of year that we didn't count on or factor in is how quickly the sun sets. It sets about, I mean, it starts getting dark or dusk by 4.30, and by 5.30 you're in darkness. So, I mean, it's neat on the drive. You can still see a lot of the mountain formations. Another couple of very precarious drives over to here, those back roads, you could choose to take the interstate if you don't like that. Of course, that adds about two hours onto your trip. Uh, but we're just thankful again. I uh, give glory to God for our safety and travels and uh, for all the beauty of his creation. When I look at it, I'm totally amazed and so thankful for the fact that God through uh, most likely the global flood uh, ended up with all these wonderful rock formations. Of course this area is also known for dinosaur fossils. Uh, we little place that Kaylee and Emily went to when they were uh, very young uh, on their first trip through is just right down the road. Looking forward to catching up with you at Arches National Park. itinerary and what we're going to be doing. We're headed to uh, Canyonlands National Park and uh, that's going to be another one of the national parks that we see. It's right here not far from uh, where we were yesterday, the Arches National Park. What a great time. We came off of the uh, hill, uh, off of the view from that Arches hike. That's what we ended with. Absolutely worth it if you're going to do anything I would say go to the Delicate Arch hike 
I believe is what it's called, and it was an amazing hike. It, it's a little bit tough going up, but it's well worth it. You can make it. If Brenna and I, as old as we are, can make it, then anybody can. Hey, I thought I'd just say hello to Jonathan Mead. I thought of him because we just turned on State Route or Highway 313 to head out to Canyonland. So uh, when I think of 313, I often think of Jonathan. So at any rate, we worshiped this morning. We did stay in a hotel last night because of the fact that we wanted to be cleaned up, worshiped uh, with the um, congregation at Moab. What an encouraging little uh message there. We ran into people originally from the Bowling Green area. They're now from Indianapolis area. Uh, they were traveling too. We had a nice visit with the congregation and those people. Uh, today we're headed, as I said, to Canyonlands and then headed to Capitol Reef National Park and uh, then we'll be staying the night there in the National Park. So we have, uh, because our jewel cut uh, hot tap didn't come in, it's been a real bummer. It was supposed to be shipped out in October, then they said it wouldn't be till December. So we knew we weren't gonna have it on our trip, but that was gonna be the ultimate for us at the National Park. So since we didn't have that, we have been staying at some uh, Good Sam's RV parks where we did have ways to clean up some. So it'll be uh, a good time. We're looking forward to it. We'll catch up with you later in the day. There'll be sure to be plenty of footage again of this beautiful scenery. We're still in Utah, uh, and so we'll catch up with you uh, later on. I know the Moab congregation, we had saw it online, and then we contacted David Hines. Hey, David, how are you if you're watching this? And uh, he said it was a good congregation. So that's always great to be able to stop, worship, and uh, be blessed. They were encouraging in-person worship, so we enjoyed that uh, very much so. Uh, we'll catch up with you later in the rest of the day here on this beautiful Lord's Day. Here we are, potato cutting. <laughs> this is what we do first. The band we love. All right, gang, here we are living the dream. This is the Board Van Adventures. Most awesome time, most fun time to be out ready in a national park. We're at the Bruta Campground in the uh, Capitol Reef National Park. And it's a beautiful night. It's about 40 degrees. The stars are going to be amazing tonight. We have a fire. We're just, instead of getting the stove out and everything that we bought, a brand new beautiful Coleman stove, we're doing this uh, over the fire, just the old fashioned way. All I had to do was get one skillet out, we get the food out. I'll grill some, or fry some bacon and some eggs and some potatoes, and we'll have a great feast and then just sit around enjoying the fire and looking up at the beauty of the night sky. Uh, we had a great day today again, and we look forward to waking up in the morning uh, and going on a hike here or two, seeing some more of the scenery, and then we'll be heading out to Bryce Canyon. And we've heard that's beautiful. Will and Lauren both said that was beautiful, so we're looking forward to that. And then we'll end up tomorrow night at Zion camping, and then after that we'll explore the park in Zion the next day. So all these things are just amazing and wonderful. We've got the last two days recapped on this one video. Again, we had the opportunity to worship this morning at a congregation, and that was great. And uh, tonight we're gonna have Fireside Devo as a family, uh, and we'll just look for an opportunity that, with the COVID, they're meeting in the morning, but not in the evenings. And so uh, we're kind of uh, here tonight, and we're looking forward to that for sure. Uh, what a blessing it is to be out here. God has blessed us in so many ways, and we're just thankful.